so the new audi q7 2019 model is right here with me and i'm really happy to review this beautiful suv from audi here you can see this is the q750 uh, tdi this is the diesel um, engine uh, inside this car and here you have some information about the car if you are interesting you can pause the video and you can see it also this uh, q7 um, it's s line uh, that i will present you today and i want to show you everything um, everything it's inside and uh, the exterior interior of the car and uh, yeah let's start so first of all i want to tell you that they change some some uh, things in the interior um, from the previous model is not more uh, the same so it's kind of a lot of change to the engine and to the body of the car also um, yeah the LED light and uh, uh, headlamps in the back LED look fantastic also and the back of the car with this uh, exhaust pipe here on the side look pretty beautiful and also the car it's it's huge and it has a lot of space inside the car and uh, uh, that's a plus for the people that have a big family or they want strong uh, masculine uh, big cars uh, like this one and some extra comfort and extra safety that come with this car also they work to the aerodynamic and they make the car uh, a better uh, coefficient to the aerodynamic and also the consumption uh, will be a little bit lower with the new materials they, they they build the car with some new materials they change some stuff here and there and they make the car a little bit lighter also we see here the logo Quattro uh, this is four wheel drive car and also we have a plastic here down here in the paint of the car to protect the car also this these edges here around the, the tires uh, are to protect the paint but I like the fact that they do this in uh, in body color the same body color as the paint so uh, 21 inch rims they are very beautiful in my opinion uh, come on this SUV and also a Michelin tires I think they are Michelin I'm not sure so um, yeah you can see here the lines of the car and you can also see how they make the tires inside for the aerodynamic for the better aerodynamic uh, this body it's kind of outside a little bit more and that help the air go around the car also the sensors are here here is the radar left and right to the car it's the radar that's pretty useful pretty cool also we have a front camera there in the middle and this grill uh, front grill look uh, very nice and also the air go directly to the engine to cool the engine it's not like in the Mercedes the new one and uh, BMW that let the air uh, close and open uh, anyway here is the new LED light uh, system that come with the car the, this is amazing it's, it, you can light up till 700 meter in the night so you have a great um, visibility also here you can see the beautiful lines of the car here automatic lift gate in the back of this car I will show you a little bit later now let's go inside to show you the doors um, and the quality of the car here you have the button for the trunk in the back and also the start stop button it's uh, right up there now something that really impressed me um, uh, about this car is the quality materials 
uh, of the car that they use in the interior also here is the blind spot uh, LED you know this already I think and here the materials are uh, very very nice and soft and everything it's, it's it's made with class and good quality simple lines here really good quality also um, Alcantara leather on the door combination with leather and the buttons also are nice and well made and we have the Bose uh, speaker here that sounds uh, quite nice the S line logo down here look also nice and the fact that you can go inside the car very easy you, you don't have a step there you just put your feet there it's really easy to go inside the car and go out I like the fact that they make this to the SUV that you go directly there the pedals are aluminium good quality the seats are also a great quality you can see the stitches and the leather and also the S from the S line um, so uh, this new Q7 come with this uh, comfortable seat leather um, but also you have different option to choice here we have the standard button for the light and for the head up display quite easy to use uh, here are the air vents and the nice uh, plastic here white plastic kind of matte head-up display in the front soft material on the dashboard I have to admit that um, after I see the new Mercedes and the newest Audi uh, Mercedes it is better at the interior in my opinion it's look better and yeah the quality is better but the second after Mercedes I think it come uh, Audi without uh, any problem we have another uh, car company that make fantastic interiors but in 2019 uh, Mercedes was in my opinion a little better uh, than Audi but also we have to admit Audi did a great job with the cars and it's fantastic quality also this beautiful steering wheel uh, S-line it look very nice they have clappers easy to use fantastic quality and also uh, all the things around the car are great great quality and the start stop button the same plastic mat here gray quattro logo here we have the vents there you can adjust the vents here we have a nice design you can see all the way down to the dashboard the same like Tesla Model 3 something like that this is really cool and interesting how they choose to do this and the dashboard it's very simple the buttons are simple here you have all the the buttons for the technologies and uh, sensors parking sensors and all other stuff uh, that car come here you have a place down there where you have a uh, 12 volt port and also you can put your some little things there it's, it's kind of hiding back there also here you can control the navigation system from here um, and it's very simple I will show you a little bit later the navigation now let's go forward here we have the cup holders and the stick for the gear changer I mean the car it's automatic but here you can change the different uh, modes uh, in reverse and neutral also electric handbrake auto hold we also have this uh, a nice place here where you can put your phone and it's quite interesting the key you can leave it there because you don't have to use the key you can go inside the car and outside and start the engine 
now here you can charge your phone you also have two USB ports pretty useful and a nice place there to put your stuff also it's, it's huge uh, the glove box is big and also multimedia system it's right there in the glow box um, yeah the car look fantastic in my opinion and it's really comfortable to sit in this seat here we have a mirror also LED light there up here the same buttons and here you can control the panoramic sunroof It's quite beautiful, this sunroof, in my opinion, it looks fantastic for the back passengers, it's, it's amazing. If you have kids in the back, they will love to watch the sunroof, uh, the sky uh, in the summer or yeah, when it's rain, for example, it's quite interesting to, uh, to see and to feel like you're in the nature. So in the back, the car, the uh, the car doors are the same good quality as you can see in the image. Also the Bose uh, speaker uh, that come with the car. Also we have a plastic here uh, to protect the side here, and the seats are uh, adjustable in many position. Also the back of the seat plastic here to protect the seat for from the kids for example also great leather quality here we have the stick that adjusts the seat and also really interesting stuff is that you can put your seat all the way back just like that and you have a great comfort at the long roads so the car is very comfortable when you drive uh, long roads and also you can go inside the car without any problem you don't have a step there you go directly it's very easy to go in and go out and they do a great job with uh, this SUV Audi also air vents on the side LED light here up here huge space to the fit actually in great comfort you can see I have a huge space on my feet and also here in the middle we have the air vents and the climatic system and also 12 volt port down there uh, and no USB port I was expected to have some USB ports in the back here that are very useful these days and also this step in the middle it's kind of uh, annoying not like in the electric cars also the armrest here with two cup holders uh, pretty useful now um, going in the middle and show you the headspace it's, it's huge and also the seat as you stay on the back it's quite very comfortable and you can even sleep in this car for the long road it's fantastic going in the middle huge space on my head much more space in the front uh, a lot of space for my feet uh, I'm staying very comfortable in the middle and I'm sure pretty sure free people like me will stay without problem here in the back uh, and you can drive also long roads with this beautiful uh, roof glass roof look amazing also great visibility on the windows and huge space in the car uh, as well now uh, here you can you can lift this down and you can see this car have around 800 uh, 980 liter uh, with five seats and if you leave all the seats down you go up to 2100 liter uh, space here to carry a lot of stuff and this car also come with seven seats um, and it's pretty cool uh, but you don't have the trunk the trunk it's only 219 liter 
with all seven seeds it's kind of small uh, small trunk so if, if you carry seven people you will don't have so much space for the for the trunk so um, anyway the car it's quite beautiful I'm in my opinion it's one of the best uh, SUV uh, up there on the market right now I'm really curious to see the new model and also now here I want to show you the trunk inside the trunk also the choice to have the light up and also you can see here the entrance with this aluminium let's go directly straight here you have different kind of buttons for uh, example the hook for the trailer you have the seat you have all, all kind of things for example air suspension and the seat in the front and also here is 219 liter down here we have the Bose audio system so no space under this uh, lip, lip here and yeah this is the way it look the car uh, when you lift uh, all the the seats it's, it's, it's kind of huge space here so you can carry a lot of stuff 980 liter so it's beautiful it is a beautiful car in my opinion with great great comfort and great quality it's one of the best on the market but I'm really curious to see the new uh, Audi Q7 that will come I think in 2020 uh, or something like that also the LED light look gorgeous in the front in the back uh, here the, the door opener also the new and the head-up display cockpit here it's it's quite beautiful is the new one it's the digital one with great resolution and you have a lot of information down there in the middle also um, what I would like to show you it is the uh, multimedia system that it's inside the, the dashboard that I love it like that and you can control it from here pretty simple and easy and it's also not a touch screen you, you have to to have this in mind that is not a touch screen but it's really cool that you can hide it and you have a, a, a clean dashboard so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoy my review please check out my other videos subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Bye, guys.